This is why I think Lego Dimensions is the best um, toys come to life game, I guess. Um. So you guys, Taj here. Ah, so today, as I said in the, in, 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 in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, what, what's that called? What's that called? Also, look at what I can do to my eye. Look, my eye's dead now. Um. No, what, what, what's that thing at the start called? Like an intro? Because I just said my intro before. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Now, I we're talking about why Lego Dimensions is the best Toys Come to Life game. Because it really is. So, yeah. Um, okay, so it is, it is it is it is expensive, you know, like all those toys come to life games. It's not as expensive as. Well, let, let me show you. So um, here I've got like Marty McFly from the Back to the Future level pack, and um. You get, like, so what happens is when you buy that pack, you put this guy on, you also get to play a level, and so, like, it gives you a level, so they can just make more levels, and they've also got story packs, so you can get multiple levels if a big movie came out, you know, recently, and that's like a Lego, and it's allowed to be made into a Lego thing. Um, why is my screen going so dark? This is confuffling me. But yeah, um, so, you don't, with the other, um, toys come to life games, they would make another game. But then, with LEGO Dimensions, you don't have to buy another game. You just gotta buy the packs. And you can still use your packs that you used before, because it's the same game. And then the game also comes with the story, the main story, and then characters and stuff. So it's not like you miss out if you don't buy the things. It's just you get more if you buy the things. The more money you spend, it's like... It's like games. It's like a game with a bunch of DLC. Where when the other toys come to life games, they're like... A game... That was bad in the first place, and so on. Made a bunch of sequels because they're all really bad. So I've got, and I'll just bring you guys air down here. Hey boys! Ah, oh, so he's my like, little. He's in front of my TV. Here is my TV. And so here we got. Oh. Cameras are really hard to angle. So here I just. Well, here's a lineup of all the characters I have. I've lo I lost these three minifigures. I mean, this one is. Uh, the. ACU. I think. That, is it AC? I don't know. Uh, the, the, from Jurassic World. He's just a guy with the, a taser rod. This is the Batman. This one. Is the Batman plate on? Um, I lost the original Batman figure that came with it, and so yeah. Um, also got this is the Gandalf base plate. Um, if he like lost his hat, so I don't really have him here. Now, uh, Wild Star, um, her hairpiece fell off, so you know, um, I don't have her hairpiece, but you know, besides those four. Which three of them are the characters that come with the game anyway. So yeah, apart from these, th th those four, um, the other characters are in really good quality. Cool. So yeah, um, here we got um. Jay and Zane from the Ninjago theme. I've put them way too close, actually. So, 
this was giant. Hey, you can see me. <laughs> yeah, so these are um, Jay and Zane from the Ninjago thing. I reviewed a Ninjago set before. And yeah, so uh, these guys don't do anything special. You just get the character and an unlock to the free roam world. So when you get the character, you get to roam around in their world. So yeah, that's those guys. Uh, here we have our uh, Chase McCain from uh, the Lego City video game. So like, yeah, he's a police officer and stuff, and you get access to his world. Uh, he's got an orange base plate, which I'm pretty sure means he's part of uh, the second sort of wave, I guess. I know it's not the second wave because you know, but you know they ran out of. Uh, they when they added in more um, franchises. Oh god, I knocked him off. When they added in more, like, oh, I don't know, what would you call um, When they added in more uh, worlds and franchises and stuff, they credited him because they had the original set out what they were going to do. And then they added some more. When they added them there, they gave them an orange base plate, I think. I don't know. I don't have many of the second um, thing with Bobo. Here we are, uh, Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man from Ghostbusters. Oh, this is actually a really cool minifigure to have anyway. Uh, but you also get to play as him. He's so adorable! He, got, he like makes like cute little jump noises. And he's, he's like a baby. Because he's like cute and smiley and happy. And oh, look at me. I'm a marshmallow. And then when he gets angry, pissed off, um... Then he like gets his like little angry baby face on. He's like, oh, I'm a baby having a tantrum. It's it's really it's really cute. Um, yeah. Here we've got um Marty McFly from the Back to the Future theme. Um, you can also get Doc um Brown with. You can also get Doc Brown. He's the only other. Back to the Future theme. And yeah, this is really cool. He's got a little guitar piece. It's a really cool minifigure to have. But also what he comes with is cool. You know, we'll talk about that later. And then we got um, Owen from Jurassic World. Yeah, World. Um, he's, and so yeah, that's all my minifigures. Um, we're going to go over some of the vehicles I have are so these are the the, the the blue base plates. They're supposed to be the jet fighter and the um so Jay's jet fighter is one of them. And then Zane's um, ninja copter is the other one. I think it's a ninja I don't I don't know. See that's what they come with. Um the the three main minifigures come with the hell not no what the hell no they come with the the Batmobile so yeah that's like sort of the main car you'll be using through a lot of the game uh, we also got uh, stay puffed Comes with a little angry little uh, those dra stone dragon things that those that, you know those, those those people become. Um, yeah, that's what that that's what that's what they are. Um, so he comes with one of them and gets a bit fire and stuff. He's pretty cool. Um. Uh, Chase McCain comes with a helicopter, police helicopter. It's got a little police thing there, and it's it's, it's pretty cool. Oh, why am I so off in the side? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, I'm sort of sideways now, actually. I don't know why. 
say that's true. That they come through the helicopter. That's fun. Um, Marty McFly comes with the time the DeLorean and he the time traveling DeLorean and he's hoverboard. And um, with Doc Brown, you can get the time traveling train, which is really cool. Uh, yeah. Moving. And then Owen and that guy uh, come with uh, the. Oh, I don't. I don't have the um, the base plates here, but he comes with the Velociraptor and uh, the gyrosphere. Yeah, and I, you know, I'm constantly always getting more. I'll move you guys back up. So yeah, that was just a look at my um my Lego Dimensions minifigure collection. Um, it's always getting. Well, I'm always getting more. And yeah, and so I'm going to talk about why. Lego Dimensions is probably the best out of the toys come to life games. So yeah, let's um, uh, yeah, let's get some stuff out. This is the dark desolate cover of death with my Wii and PlayStation Two stuff that we don't use anymore. Uh, so I got some of my other toys come to life thingos. Um, so I used to, the reason I don't have many um, dimension characters as much as I would like to, is because we used to do a lot, like, we used, I used to like buy a range of different um, uh, toys come to life games. Um, not as much Skylanders. But we got um, so Disney Infinity. I only got the first Disney Infinity. When the second one came out, I'm like, boy, because I thought Skylanders was going to be the only game to make sequels, and the other games would just develop themselves. But no, Disney Infinity got to three. Yeah. Oh, okay. So um, and then Disney Infinity only got got up to three before it got cancelled. Tells you enough about that. Um, it even took over Marvel, which was really disappointing. I want us to have some Marvel superheroes in Lego Dimensions. Hopefully, we will get some uh, Disney properties in Lego Dimensions, like. Star Wars or Marvel, and just Mickey Mouse because you know Mickey Mouse the best. Oh, so these are the three um dudes that come with the Disney Infinity game. The first one, these guys come with it. So that's um Mr. Incredible, Jack Sparrow, and um James Sullivan, 
Um, then we also got, we also got um, Elsa and Anna, and we got Miss Miss Mrs. Incredible and Buzz and. dead Jessie because she fell off her base plate. Um, you'd reckon like the Lego ones would get lost easily. These ones just snap. Miss Mrs. Incredible didn't even have a head from before. Don't know why I didn't mention that. That was weird. You guys probably thought I was insane or something. And that was normal. It's it's not. And this is the base plate that comes with it, the first game. You put your little I I didn't I never understood this. Is this this is the Toy Story one, and that goes on there, and then you unlock the Toy Story levels, and then this one gives you the um, Pirates of the Caribbean, um, Incredibles and Monsters University levels, all in this one, because they all came together, and then we didn't get the, the Frozen one, I don't know what happened to that one, um, so yeah, the levels come in like little crystals, instead of getting most of the, like, instead of, what LEGO did is they put, like, they had all the stories intertwining for the story that came with it, and every story that came out after that had a level, as a, had a, um, story pack, where you got, you know, two minifigures, and a vehicle, and a new portal for your base plate, which is actually pretty cool, that's genius, genius. And le like a bunch of levels, like loads. That was cool. And then this, you just sort of got your levels. Like you had individual stories. I don't know. It was, it it, it, it can fuffled me. Um. And we got Skylanders. <laughs> I never bought a single Skylander after we got Swap Force. So these two are the two swappers that come with it, so you can swap these two. And then you get this ugly elf thing. It's not even a swapper. You just get an ugly elf. What, what do I want this for? Snap it, because it feels like it's going to break. Like, I'm not even, I'm hardly pushing it, and it's like bending. It's like really weak. It's like it's made out of Lego, except it's worse. So those are the toys to life games I have. Um, the only other major one is Amiibos, and you know the problem with them. I mean, Skylar. Oh, I should probably talk about the problems with Skylanders. Is that you hardly get anything to start with. You get the entire story, and when you when your characters die, it says put on a new. Skylander and he can keep playing so basically in it, it, the game's easier the more you buy but then with Lego Dimensions or you know all the other uh, Toys to Life games they make it you get more when you you get more like levels or more areas to search around in or whatever when you buy the new ones you get new things with this, it just makes it easier. All you get is the character to play as. And they got these stupid... This one's got a rocket symbol, which is bullshit. And this one's got, like, a ladder, which means he can do them. So you're like, oh, no, I need to get all the unlockables. But you can't. Unless you buy things. And LEGO Dimensions sort of does this. But it, it's really... A lot of characters can do a lot of things. So, like... I can do most things with my characters. And then if I can't, if I upgrade my vehicles, ve 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 vehicles to the full level, then I can, I can do most things. There are some things in the game like the... Oh, what are my eyes doing? It looks really creepy because I got a low... Like I got like a... Uh, my camera was just freaking out a bit. Um, there are like some special abilities that not many characters can use, 
Like, there's the Ghostbusters ghost vacuums, which only the Ghostbusters characters have. And there are only two of them that have the ghost vacuums. Ah, uh, Stay Puff, he doesn't have that because he's not a Ghostbuster. He's just a, he's just a ghost. A, a baby marshmallow. But he's not a baby marshmallow. But yeah, um, you can, with LEGO, Dim LEGO Dimensions, you can basically do most of the things, get most of the unlockables. But then with these guys, you basically need to buy things to get any unlockables. Like, oh, you want to unlock a secret level. You have to buy this one, and this one, and this one. I don't want to buy that one, or that one, or that one. I don't want to do that. But yeah, um, and then I don't have, the only other toys come to life games I don't have any version of is Amiibos. And I, I don't, Amiibo stuff don't really count because they work for lots of games. So it's not like you're buying it just for that one game. You're buying it for unlockables in lots of games. Like in Mario Maker you could get special skins, special special mushrooms that made you look different. Uh, so you could, so, you know, so you could look different and it's cool. and it's, uh, And you could look like someone else. And that's sort of how Amiibos work. So they don't really have their own game. The, Amiibo, the Amiibos just work for Nintendo. Which is good. So I reckon Amiibos, from what I've heard, are pretty good. But I haven't got them myself. And so, yeah, those are just the reasons I think that our Logo Dimensions is the best. Toys Come to Life game. And it's a pretty good Lego game as well. And then, um, why Skylanders is the worst. I'm so glad I can rip these guys apart. Because they'd be broken if I couldn't. Yeah. But seriously, these things are absolutely retarded. These are the fucking... Jeez. These are the worst. These are so... They don't even stay together, jeez. I'm just trying to hold him and he falls apart. Try doing that with a Lego minifigure. What's this? I'm gonna squeeze it. Oh look, he attached from he detached from his base plate. So what well, it's meant to come apart. Retards. Yeah, um, so if I had to rank all the um, the, 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 the um all the all the all the toys come to life games, I'll have D dimensions on the top. Then I'll have amiibos. Then I'll have infinity. Then I'll have Skylanders because Skylanders is the worst. Um. <laughs> Yeah, are there any other Toys Come to Life games? Um, I don't know, I can't remember. No, but, um, and then, also another good thing about Lego Dimensions is it can adapt with any franchise. D Disney Infinity only did Disney franchises. Um, Skylanders just did freaking whatever those things are, um, and Spyro, I don't know if Spyro, I, I don't know, Spyro, because I really want to play Spyro, <sighs> and then Amiibos just did Nintendo titles, well Lego Dimensions did all of them, like Lego owned titles, like Shima, <coughs> And Ninjago and the Lego Movie, but then I also had like DC Comics, uh, Back to the Future, I had Sonic, Sonic. It also had um, like Teen Titans Go and Powerpuff Girls. And why is this? this why is it called red when I? Do you see those red sparkles? On the side of the camera, red sparkles on my face. 
Except they go when I, there's no effect. I that think my camera likes the black. It also can't decide on which colour the, those pixels should be. If you can even see that. But yeah, um, those have just been my thoughts on how the Toys Come to Life games. Just keep in mind, these are my opinions. Uh, if you've got... Um, if you want to defend any of the other Toys Come to Life games, they're okay. They're not as good as Lego. They just seem like ways to steal money. Lego is sort of trying to make money to give people the best experience possible while still making money so they don't make another game. But then I've only got the first Disney Infinity. I've got the something Skylanders because there's like freaking 50. Fuck it out. <laughs> and then... And then... Uh, I mean, Amiibos will just work for all games, so I mean, like, it depends on what games you have. Which, I mean, I, can't, I quite like. Um, boy. Boy. Yeah. So, if you want to defend any of those other titles, then feel free to write what you think in the comments. What you, in, the, in the comments. Not in my face. On the comments! Boy! Um, yeah, oh, these were just my opinions, so don't take any of this too seriously. I was just sharing my thoughts, and, um, for anyone who was wondering if they've never gotten a Toys Come to Life game, uh, which one they should get, definitely LEGO Dimensions, because it's, like, available on, like, all titles. And yeah, there was also a Skylanders racing game. That was terrible. Who does a Toys Come to Life racing game? 